Hello my future RN friends, welcome back to my channel. So again, I have created uh, 10 review questions about science. So this uh, uh, review questions focuses on physiology because um, physiology is the most asked questions in your TES exam. Um, the first question, what does EK, EKG stand for? Is it A, um, electrocardiography, or B, electrocardiogram, C, electroencephalogram, or D, electrocardiograph? So the answer is electrocardiogram. It's letter B. Um, it's also known as ECG. Okay, number two, what is the difference between actin and myosin? Is it A, actin has thin filament while myosin has thick filament? Or is it B, actin has thick filament while myosin has thin filament? Or C, absence of filament on both? And letter D, actin has a zigzag disc. So the answer is letter A. Actin has thin filament while myosin has thick filament. Okay, number three. A pH of 7.0 is what? Is it A, acidic, B, basic, C, neutral, or D, none of the above? So it's obviously neutral. From um, 0 to 6.9 or 0 to 7 is acidic, and then 7.1 to 14 is neutral, and 7 is considered, uh, sorry, 7.1 to 14 is considered basic, and 7 is neutral. Okay, number four question, a term used for someone capable of mounting an immune response which includes B and T cells. Is it A, immunocompetent? Is it B, immunocompromised? Letter C, immunoincompetent? Or letter D, immunotolerant? The answer is letter A, immunocompetent. Okay. A person who receives a vaccine is an example of what type of immunity? What do you think? Is it A, natural active immunity? Is it B, natural passive immunity? Or letter C, A, artificial active immunity? Or letter D, artificial passive immunity? So the answer would be letter C, artificial active immunity. Letter A, natural active immunity, example is when contracting hepatitis A and production of anti-hep A. While letter B, nat natural passive immunity, an example is when babies receive breast milk, that's um, natural passive immunity. And letter D, artificial passive immunity, uh, example is injection of prepared antibody. So the answer is letter C, artificial active immunity. It's when a person receives a, va a vaccine. Okay, next question, what is a synapse? Is it A, a junction between two nerve cells consisting of a minute gap across which impulses pass by diffusion of a neurotransmitter? Or letter B, a nerve fiber slender projection of a nerve cell or neuron in vertebrates that typically conducts electrical impulses? Letter C is an ex explosion of electrical activity that is created by a depolarizing current? Or letter D, none of the above? So the answer is letter A. Um, it's a junction between two nerve cells consisting of a minute Minute gap, sorry, across which impulses pass by diffusion of a neurotransmitter. Letter B is a definition of axon, and letter C is a definition of action potential. So, take note. Next question, a type of hormone that requires carrier protein, a hydrophobic hormone such as steroid. Is it A, water-soluble hormone? Is it B, lipid-soluble hormone? or letter C, lipids insoluble hormone, and letter D, water insoluble hormone? The answer is letter B, it's lipid soluble hormone. I don't know if you can see my notes, but it's in there. And I put like a little explanation for the rest of them. Okay, next, a hormone needed in sleep-wake cycle and is secreted in darkness is known as, is it A, melanin, or B, melatonin, C, serotonin, and D, calcitonin? The answer is melatonin. Melatonin is 
needed in sleep wake cycle and is secreted when it's dark that's why we you know we take melatonin if you are having hard time going to sleep while melanin is for skin and serotonin is the key hormone that stabilizes our mood feelings of well-being and happiness and calcitonin for calcium homeostasis calcium balance okay where does actual gas exchange take place is it a bronchi b capillaries c trachea or d esophagus so the answer would be capillaries trachea conduct air from the mouth and nose towards the lungs while bronchi distribute the air throughout the lungs and esophagus transport masticated and swallowed food boli through the mediastinum from the pharynx the answer is um, capillaries what does actual uh, sorry question where does actual gas exchange take place the answer is capillaries okay for the last question the tendency toward a relatively stable equilibrium between inter interdependent elements especially as maintained by physiological processes is known as is it a diffusion letter b homeostasis letter c enzymatic activity or letter d threshold the answer is homeostasis it's um equilibrium state equilibrium so that's it i um i'm so happy to be able to help you guys with your um tease exam and good luck to all of you thank you for watching and keep on checking for more review videos click subscribe like and share and this is beth from reality life series have a nice day see you later bye